China has built one of the most ambitious projects in human history, a system that literally moves water from the south of the country to the north. This is the South to North Water Diversion Project, the largest water transfer project in the world. China faces a serious problem. Water is unevenly distributed. The South, with rivers like the Yangtze, has plenty of fresh water. But the North, where Beijing, Tianjin, and much of the farmland are located, suffers from severe shortages. Almost 40% of China's people live in the North, but it has only 20% of the country's fresh water. That imbalance created a growing crisis. To fix this, China launched the South to North Water Diversion Project. The idea was first proposed in the 1950s, and construction began in 2002. The goal is to move almost 45 billion cubic meters of water every year from the south to the north. The project has three main routes. Eastern route. This carries water from the Yangtze River along the ancient Grand Canal toward northern provinces like Shandong. Central route. The most important one. It starts at the Danjiankou Reservoir and delivers water directly to Beijing and Tianjin through thousands of kilometers of canals and tunnels. Western route still in the planning stage. It would divert water from rivers in Tibet and Sichuan across mountains to the north, but the engineering and environmental challenges are enormous. This is one of the most expensive engineering projects ever. It has already cost over $60 billion, and more than 300,000 people were relocated to make way for reservoirs and canals. The scale is so massive, it can even be seen from space. The project provides huge benefits. It supplies drinking water to millions in Beijing and northern cities. It supports farming and industry in dry regions. It helps slow down dangerous groundwater depletion in the north. But there are also big challenges. The environmental impact has been significant, changing river systems and ecosystems. The human cost is high, with hundreds of thousands displaced. And long term sustainability, is uncertain. If climate change reduces water in the south, this project could face serious problems. The South to North Water Diversion Project shows the scale of China's ambition, turning an impossible idea into reality. But it also raises a question. Is this a brilliant solution to a water crisis or a risky bet with huge environmental costs? What do you think? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more world-changing facts.